what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel i feel like i'm a little too tall in frame but honestly it's fine welcome back to the channel hope that you're all having an absolutely lovely day it's saturday morning over here about 10 42 a.m and we are going to dive into this album perun amico i hope i'm pronouncing that anywhere near right and i apologize for future language barrier issues because i'm, I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of these italian words anyways we're listening to the band premiata forneria marconi I hope I put a little bit of a nice spin on that. I appreciate it. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, this album has been recommended for quite a while, uh, quite a while, quite a long time. Uh, we've listened to one track a long time ago from the band, and I did enjoy that. So I figured let's go ahead and listen to some more at the request of several of you. Uh, let's see. Let me pull up the names really quick here. Stefano Castellani, Canigo Catala. Uh, Jay Fox, did you recommend this? I don't know if you did. I see your name popping up here, but I don't know if you did. Uh, VDGG Mouse, I see you as well. Trev Rock one Lorenzo Pinto, and I also see that Daniel Lyons on Twitter recommended this as well. And the list just goes on and on and on and on. So we're just going to go ahead and start at, here at the first uh, track over here, which is going to be the title track of the album. Oh, I'm sorry, that is completely wrong. That was misinformation. It's Appena Un Po, which I guess I should have my English to Italian translating here. Italian to English translate. So we can go ahead and actually get song titles here. I do have the lyrics in English to have that translated as well. So the first song is called Just a Little. I don't see on the Wikipedia page that this is a concept album. It very may well be, but I don't see that here. So anyways, let's go ahead and start off with the first track. We'll talk about it after. Let's go. transition. That's heavy. Ve 
That was one of the best songs I've heard in recent times. That was absolutely fantastic. An opener to the album that not only gets you into the setting, gets you into the music, but just creates its own world, its own soundscape, lets you live in it for a while, explores different avenues, brings it all back together. Wow. <laughs> all the instrumentation, all the musicians here were absolutely stellar. I like how we begin with this little bit of a fade in, and then you have layer upon layer upon layer of the instrumentation beginning to build up. First, a little bit of this classical-like guitar, uh, and eventually some 
uh, the bass begins to come in, like all the instruments begin to come in slowly. Flute enters the picture, violin, um, harpsichord as well. You get all these different layers that build this very rich tapestry of music. And then they, they build that up very nicely. Like I said, they let you live in it, toss it away, toss it away. Then they get into that really hard rocking riff. I That was such a fantastic transition into that because it began so lovely, so romantic. And the music really was throughout the whole thing. But then when it switched into that harder section for just a brief moment, it just, for me, it just took me. It immediately grabbed me, got my attention, pulled me in, and just built anticipation inside of me of what's coming next. The singing was absolutely lovely, gorgeous, kind of quiet. The music, I, I, if I had to com make a, you know, a comparison of sorts, I, I would kind of place this between King Crimson early and Genesis, I would say that's the kind of sound that this kind of this kind of stays in, at least with this particular track. But how lovely the drumming, especially, reminded me of King Crimson, especially from uh, the album in the court. I just thought that this was incredibly lovely, very very rich in texture with all these different instrumentations. So on the, I believe on lead vocals, it's going to be Franco Masita, who's also playing guitar. He also plays mando cello in here. There's a lot of classical influence in here. Of course, you got the Mellotron. That's what was constantly rising throughout, which also reminded me in some ways of King Crimson. Uh, flutes, Mauro Pagani. Bass, Giorgio Piazza. Piazza, And then drums from Franz de Co Co I'm sorry. I told you I, I'm apologizing ahead of time. From Franz de Chiocho. Chocho? Chiocho. <laughs> Chiocho? I'm so sorry. Um, but by Franz, very, very great drumming. Love how everything came in together. About halfway through, they kind of did one of those little breakaway sections and kind of got into something different, got into a little bit of a different mess. But same thing, they performed it with such beauty, with such grace. I can imagine how how amazing it would be to watch this performed live. Uh, let me get back to this riff real quick. No, oh, not that. This. That, that's so heavy, but like, this is so dramatic. Those, that's like one of my favorite parts, <laughs> like the intro. Ba, 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 ba. This is so heavy. Da, da, da. Mm, that's mean. But they all, they spin that all with such grace and such elegance as it moves on. And you know, like, yes, it's a seven minute track, almost eight. So I, I guess you would expect there to be some sort of development and story throughout this. But the track goes through such great valleys, not quality, but just of subtlety into these great highs, especially accompanied by the Mellotron when that does come in. It just provides this these big highs, these high highs, I guess you could say, and then take you back down to lows. It just has a great structure as it flows. This was extremely impressive. Now let me pull up the lyrics, which I do have English translations for. Uh, of course, it might not be 100% accurate, but it's the closest we can do. Don't ask me if a day will change. Start to do something and it will change. With you, it will change. That makes a lot of sense, of course, for things to change, you have to put some effort into it. And with you, those things will change. You run and you hide and you can't. You live your compromises and you can't. It's no longer time to dream. You must fight more. So instead of thinking about the things that could happen, instead of dreaming of things that could happen, fight for it. Put some effort into it. Put your back into it. Man, this was really, really good. Let's go ahead and move ourselves on to the next track. But before we do, you can let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Someone's walking outside. That's okay. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for, for the suggestions and the recommendations because I'm diving right into the next one here. Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.